Hi everyone, Ms. Moody here, District Librarian. Hope everyone's okay during this time of quarantine. I know it's tough, but we're getting through it. It's like the whole country's working, working together on this one. Um, I am quarantining with this guy, my cat Sugar. So when I tell you I miss people, I miss everyone at Woodbury, I truly do. Now the read I have today is a good one. It is based on, loosely based on a true story about this hippo that um, lives in, um, in a Cincinnati zoo and became an internet sensation. So I hope you enjoy the read. Fiona the Hippo, written by Richard Caldry, read by Miss Moody. This book is dedicated to Henry. Cincinnati Zoo, Hippo Cove. On a cold winter's night, a baby hippo was born. Have you heard the news? She's here already? Yes, I haven't seen her. Have you seen her? Alert, baby hippo born. Her name was Fiona and she arrived earlier than expected. The zookeeper snuggled her and loved her and the whole world watched. There she is, really cute and kind of slimy, said the ostrich as she and her friends peeked at the littlest hippo in the world. Fiona had learned to eat from a bottle, just like other babies in the zoo. And when she was ready, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears and said, I got this and burp, she did. Fiona grew stronger and it was time to learn to walk, just like other babies in the zoo. And when she was ready, she let out a snort wiggle her ears and say, I got this, and wobble, wobble, plop. She tried over and over until she did. Little Fiona grew st bigger still, and it was time to learn to swim, just like other babies in the zoo. And when she was ready, she let out a snort, wiggled at her ears, and said, I got this, and step by step, splash, she did. Fiona grew and grew and got stronger, and the animals at the zoo were so proud. Look at our baby, so roly-poly. When can she come out to play? But Fiona was busy. She was growing and learning about new things every day, like bubbles. As the animals in the zoo watched and the zookeepers watched, the whole world watched too. Soon the little hippo had a mountain of fan mail that said, Congratulations, Fiona. You are amazing. We love you, little baby hippo. Then one day, after she was done eating and walking and swimming, Fiona said, I want to be in the water with them. She looked at the two big hippos swimming in the pool. I want my mama and daddy. Fiona was finally strong enough to swim with her parents, and she was ready. She let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and said, I got this. And she swam with her mama for the first time. Wow, will my teeth get that big? She asked excitedly. Fiona went swimming with her daddy, too. Wow, will my butt get that big? She giggled playfully. Fiona loved her family, and life was good for the little hippo. But something was missing. As much as Fiona loved her mama and daddy, she wanted something more. I wish I had some friends to play with, she said. Did you hear that? It's our turn to play with the baby. It's about time. And one by one, the animals joined their new friend, Fiona, for the biggest pool party the zoo had ever seen. That night, Fiona snuggled up with her family. She was bigger, she was stronger, she was happy, and Fiona was loved. Go to sleep, little hippo, said Mama. Your next big adventure is right around the corner. As Fiona drifted off to sleep, she whispered, I got this, and she did.